Pilots who fly tailwheel airplanes argue endlessly about the merits of tailwheel versus three-point landings, but some facts are indisputable. If you want to land short and have positive steering with all three tires in contact with the runway from the moment you touch down, make a three-point landing. If you want to preserve forward visibility during rollout, be gentle to your tailwheel assembly, and you're up for a challenge, make a wheel landing. Here's the same airplane, in the same configuration, on the same runway, making both kinds of landings. Notice how it touches down at almost exactly the same speed, yet it takes far longer to decelerate during a wheel landing, and the total ground roll is about 50% longer. From touchdown until the airplane slows to 30 miles an hour, it takes just seven seconds in the three-point attitude. It takes 25 seconds, more than three times as long, during a wheel landing. No one landing technique can cover every situation a pilot faces in the real world. In crosswinds, pilots must minimize lateral drift, and that's likely to require full control deflection as the airplane slows down. Icy runways put a premium on smooth and steady deceleration. Night creates a false sensation that the airplane is moving faster than it really is. Formation landings are made at short intervals, and each pilot is expected to clear the runway quickly to make room for those that follow. So stay proficient at both wheel and three-point landings, then do what's right for you in the airplane you're lucky enough to be flying. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.